guys welcome to today's video i i feel like i always start a video saying i'm so excited to be filming this one right now but i really am because as you can tell by the title this is the video in which i will be showing you guys what i packed in my hospital bag i am 35 weeks pregnant and i've been wanting to have this ready for weeks now i've been following uh pregnancy forums and there's so many women that have gone into labor early you know we want our baby to cook completely in there but just in case it makes me feel better if we have everything packed so i'm gonna start with the things i packed for myself by the way i hope you find this video useful if you're packing your own hospital bag and you feel like you're forgetting something also don't forget to subscribe so you can keep watching all the pregnancy related content i have a lot more videos coming all right so the first thing i want to show you guys is something that i didn't think was necessary and it's not necessary but i want to be comfortable during labor and it is a hospital gown i know the hospital will provide their own gown but they're usually scratchy and you have to like tie them and whatever i got this one from kinded bravely i think that's how you pronounce it i'm gonna link everything down below so that's gonna be a task but i'm gonna do it for you guys and it's this hospital gown it has velcro in the back and in the front so if you're getting an epidural if they need access you know if you need an emergency c-section and then just need to like you know open your your gown like that it's very convenient i'm sure it's going to be helpful um for breastfeeding as well since you can just open it in the front and it's this color like a light purple with some flowers and i thought it was super cute and the fabric is very soft again this is not something that you must buy but i saw it and i was like i want to be comfy and i love that it's soft and i want to look cute so i got a hospital gown the next thing i got are these fuzzy socks they have the grip in the bottom so that's like something that you'll need in the hospital um you see right here i think two would be enough i order a pack of four but i put the purple ones and the gray ones in there they're super soft i got these from amazon the next thing i packed was this gown um i got this one from asos and it is extremely soft i got this a very long time ago because I don't want to wear pants after giving birth I've been told that you get checked by the nurses constantly so I don't want to be you know taking my pants taking off my pants and being uncomfortable so this is also perfect for breastfeeding because it has the buttons in the front anything that you're gonna get if you're if you plan on breastfeeding should have either buttons in the front or velcro or zipper or something for easy access I also got this is strictly for the aesthetic <laughs> i'm just kidding i also got this from asos and is this pajama set this one is a shirt and pants i brought them both just in case they're so cute they have stars and the moon i am very into stars the moon galaxy stuff and all celestial things i actually bought a lot of things like that for the baby i might just wear the top with without the pants because let's face it after you give birth you're basically wearing a giant pad with the mesh underwear or adult diapers so that sounds very fancy <laughs> i know definitely want a picture in this with my baby and you hear me talk about pictures and stuff and it's not that i'm superficial or anything <laughs> not me justifying it but i love having memories especially of like important moments like that that's like the biggest moment of my life until now would be like meeting our daughter so i just want to look cute while i do it and have those memories so the next thing are these underwear also from amazon they're high-waisted as you can see i order a size large so they would fit comfortably and as you can tell they're high-waisted um again i know that the hospital provides the mesh underwear with the giant pad but i also wanted to bring my own my own underwear just in case i want to wear the pad with these instead i don't know we'll see but at least i also have them for postpartum next thing i pack are these nursing bras 
and these are extremely comfortable so i got one in this color and one in white um i wanted to get nursing bras that were really soft just so I can wear them and like sleep in them at the hospital. This is actually a nursing bra that I'm wearing right now just because they're comfortable during pregnancy. Um, but these are a lot more soft and they don't have any padding or anything like that. So I think these would be great for the hospital. I got these from Target. I also got a hairbrush just because, I mean, it's self-explanatory i'm gonna need a hairbrush i ordered this one from amazon pretty straightforward the next thing i got i actually have the full pack in my closet but i am too happy to go get them so um these are the always discreet underwear i mean disposable underwear in other words adult diapers i'll show you one and i got the black ones just because I don't know there's so much bleeding and stuff that happens and i also thought they look <laughs> kind of cool <laughs> they look cooler than the other ones the other ones that are like beige really look like diapers and i'm like oh this one is a little nicer um this is so fancy i'm putting this out on the internet like yes i will be wearing adult diapers um but you know that's part of the process they have an interesting smell these kind of smell like a little perfumey which i don't know if i like but it is what it is they have really good reviews and a lot of women say they prefer wearing these instead of the mesh underwear with the giant pad because this feels more secure so i packed a few of them in a ziploc bag um i got a pack of 10 but i'm not bringing all of them to the hospital just because like i know there's going to be options the next thing i packed are these perineal 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 well it's for your perineum if you don't know what that is google it <laughs> just don't click don't click on google images but um these are cooling pad liners so they're supposed to help you know with like if you get stitches and you're uncomfortable or even if you don't get stitches um, that area is going to be pretty sore. You're supposed to put these on top of a pad and they're supposed to be cooling. They have witch hazel. So it says speeds healing, reduce swelling, and no, no harsh chemicals. And it's from Frida Mom. Um, this brand has a bunch of different postpartum essentials. I didn't buy the whole kit, which is like $100, and it has a whole bunch of different things. Just because, I don't know, I wanted to try a few of the items like this. The next thing I want to show you guys are these disposable nursing pads. This is a sample from this brand that was in one of those um, welcome boxes for my registry. Um, I do have other nursing pads, so I might put a few more in here, but there's two in here. I don't think I need that many while I'm in the hospital but it's just good to have just in case and then something that a lot of people recommend is a robe i got this one i ordered it from asos as well and it's so so soft like so soft and i can just imagine like one it's going to be january when i when i'm supposed to give birth so it's going to be cold and also hospitals are usually cold so i can just wear this and be cozy and I want to be as comfortable as I can. Another thing I packed is this fan, this portable fan. This is another thing that I've seen in a lot of like what to pack in your hospital bag um, list. And as you can tell, it's really nice. I said it's going to be cold, but I don't know what to expect when I'm in labor. Oh, it has three settings. I don't know what to expect when I'm in labor so like I might be sweating and feeling hot or I might be feeling cold who knows but apparently this is very helpful you can put it on the side of your bed like this and feel the breeze on your face and it's supposed to be calming and I don't know but I got one of those I got it from Amazon as well something else I packed are these slides um everybody says to pack shoes for the shower because you don't want to step in there with your bare feet i mean just even if they clean it at the hospital just imagine how many people have showered there with like postpartum yeah you know you know you know 
so <laughs> um some i've seen in some videos that some women pack uh slides for the shower and then also like fussy slippers but i didn't want to pack two pair of slippers so i just got these that are very comfortable and i can wear in the shower but i can also wear when i'm walking around in the room um, these are also from asos and the last thing i packed for myself is my toiletry bag which i will also be sharing with my husband he has his own bag by the way um there's not much in there besides clothes that he's gonna wear to sleep and you know in my toiletry bag i packed some body wash i had these containers from our wedding because we had um hand sanitizer giving out to our guests so i had a bunch of empty bottles of these so i just put some body wash in there and i labeled it so i know what it is some body lotion some face wash some hair ties or scrunchies because i'm pretty sure i want to put my hair up when i'm in labor deodorant because you don't want to be stinky while you give birth nipple butter i'm gonna start attempting you know breastfeeding for the first time and my nipples will appreciate this i also put some face moisturizer in here because hospitals are so dry i feel like the lotion the face moisturizer and all of that is gonna come in handy of course my toothbrush this is a new toothbrush i just put this toothbrush cap on it i didn't want to wait until i was in labor to put the toothbrush that i'm using you know like scrambling around and being like look let me not forget my toothbrush so i bought a new one and just put it in there some toothpaste this is some perineal spray so kind of the same function as the wipes but this one you spray either on your perineum or on a pad and it's supposed to relieve you know down there i packed some coles which is stool softener something that almost every single mom tells me is that tmi but the first poop after giving birth is horrible so some stool softener might come in handy all the fun things all the fun things i have some chapstick in there because like i said hospitals are so dry and this also comes highly recommended by everybody else and it's the after east drops so once you give birth if you don't know this or you never had a baby once you give birth the contractions are not completely gone uh, apparently when you start breastfeeding your uterus starts contracting again or you know it's like trying to get back to its original size or something like that and these drops you put them in water and they're supposed to help with those cramps so i decided to order these from amazon as well there's things that i'm gonna pack last minute like the camera the batteries my phone charger this is a six foot charger phone charger um a lot of people say that the outlets in the hospital are really far away so if you're in bed you know labor can take a long time and you want to use your phone you need to charge it you can plug this in wherever you find an outlet and still reach your phone so i think this is a must these are things that i'm going to bring last minute but that i can't really pack right now i'm going to bring my stanley cup yes it's purple even my little carry-on <laughs> is purple but yeah i'm bringing my stanley cup so i can be hydrated and we're always refill my water cup in the hospital another very important thing that i'm bringing that we still haven't purchased is snacks everybody says to bring snacks to the hospital imagine if you give birth at four in the morning and all the restaurants around are closed and like you only have i don't know if you get hospital food at that time or if you have to wait until the morning but I need my snacks so we have to go shop for those also stuff like my glasses contacts i wear contacts sometimes but i don't think i'm gonna wear them at the hospital because i just want to be comfortable but if you're used to wearing contacts just remember to bring that contact solution your glasses we're also bringing a little speaker to see if we can play some calm music during labor but those are things that we're gonna pack um in my husband's hospital bag because i don't have any more space in here <laughs> and also things that we're gonna pack last minute one more thing for myself is a going home outfit i got this sweatsuit from gap and it's a maternity sweatsuit so these are the pants some women say they like to feel 
um, like tight and secure so they'll wear like tight leggings or whatever but I am pretty sure that I want to just be loose and comfy so this is a set it's like a light pink and it's super soft so this is what I'm gonna be wearing home but I, I'm also gonna be wearing something else when I go into the hospital so if I just want to wear that then that's also fine all right and now for the more fun stuff is the stuff that I packed for the baby I packed this little outfit for her yes it's purple <laughs> but it's this little set look how cute this is but I want to take a picture of my baby with this she also has her nameplate you know like when we're announcing her name to the world um i put that in my house in my husband's hospital bag just because i didn't want it to be all squished in here um and i can't show it to you guys because you'll see the name but it's that's something to keep in mind we don't know if she's gonna wear a size newborn or if she's gonna be a big girl and wear zero to three months so i recommend bringing those different sizes but this one is zero to three months and it's it looks bigger i love this outfit this is also zero to three months and it has little stars and moon like i said i love everything celestial because it's january and it's going to be cold she might go home either in this outfit which is like thick and it has the little footies and the gloves or she can go home in this outfit which is really thick and warm and we also got her this little hat which is the cutest thing ever and it's fleece inside so it's very nice and warm i just want her to be warm and safe i can't wait to meet her i know that we overpacked but i couldn't choose i couldn't decide and i wanted to have options another thing we're bringing are her little socks i only brought two pairs because most of the ones he's already have like the footy they're like footy pajamas so she doesn't really need socks but i brought these two pairs i also packed two sets of mittens for her in case you know she's scratching her face or something then there's this pacifier holder um i still have to sterilize her pacifiers so there's no pacifiers in here yet but we're gonna bring the pacifier to the hospital i'm almost done but something else <laughs> we're bringing is this little electric nail file for her i think this is going to be very helpful just because you never know if babies are born with really long sharp nails and i don't want her to scratch her face i'm glad i opened this before packing it because it needed a battery so we already put the battery inside we're also bringing a little portable sound machine this one is also from Frida mom and i already charge it that's another thing when you're going to the hospital make sure everything is charged so i've been charging like the batteries from my camera and like have them charged just in case and also i charge the sound machine so it can work when we get there but i but i also brought the charger we also plan on packing a swaddle it's just that i still have to wash uh i still have to wash her swaddles because she just received some very cute ones i'm pretty sure i'm bringing this blanket everybody says i don't know how many times i said everybody says that is really cold in the hospital and they give you like a tiny sheet that's like like not really that warm so i might bring this blanket just because i want to be all cozy i am bringing a pillow with my own pillowcase make sure that if you're bringing a pillow the pillowcase isn't white that way they don't confuse it with their own pillow um guess what color my pillowcase is <laughs> it's purple <laughs> whatever at least i'm on brand uh, i feel like the nurses are gonna make fun of me but it's fine don't forget your id your insurance card your partner's id if they're gonna be on the birth certificate just make sure you have your documents that's all i'm saying something else that a lot of people recommend is to bring your own towel because apparently the ones from the hospital are very scratchy and thin but that is something that i'm not bringing um i feel like if i spend two nights at the hospital realistically i'll probably shower one of those nights and it like it's fine i can survive one shower with the scratchy towel that, that doesn't really bother me and i think it'll be too much if we also bring a towel a blanket and like a pillow and a little it's a little chaotic so i think i'm okay all right this video is very long already and i'm trying to wrap it up but i'm still going through the list just to make sure i don't forget anything 
Um, I wrote here that I'm also bringing my prenatals because I want to continue to take my vitamins even after giving birth. Gum, I feel like that's part of the snacks. Uh, when I'm, whenever I'm chewing gum, I feel like I can handle pain easier. <laughs> Fun fact, whenever I go get my eyebrows done, I do it with thread and it hurts. So I always try to chew gum during it and it, I don't know, in my head it helps. So we want to get that. Also, my makeup bag and makeup wipes. I don't think I'm going to be doing my makeup during labor. But maybe the next day if we want to take pictures or something, I might put a little bit of something on. So I also want to pack my makeup bag. I'm not packing it now because that's something that I, I'm still using. Alright guys, I think that is everything that I'm bringing to the hospital. I hope this video was helpful. If you're packing your own hospital bag, you don't have to pack exactly every you know every single item i've mentioned but this gives you an idea of what you can pack baby girl is kicking me right now she knows we're talking about her her arrival anyways guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to hit the like button it actually really helps and also subscribe i am trying to grow my channel no let's take the word trying i am growing my channel and we're almost reaching a thousand subscribers which is really exciting because that means that i can finally get monetized and that was one of my goals for this year especially before the baby comes so go ahead and click subscribe and i'll see you next time <laughs> bye guys